Hello, welcome to another project video with 4D video. I'm Arthik from 4D Systems. Today we'll see how to control the brightness of an LED using 4D Vino touch lighter. LED works on the basic principle. When there's a sufficient potential difference across the anode and the cathode, the light is emitted. The higher the potential difference, the brighter it's going to shine. But of course there's a limit. You will damage the LED if you exceed this voltage limit. To avoid this, normally a resistor is used in series with the LED. In this project, using PWM, we will control the potential difference across the LED and therefore controlling its brightness. PWM is a technique used in microcontrollers to emulate analog results using digital means. It serves the purpose of a digital to analog converter in many microcontrollers. Digital to analog converter, also called as DAC, takes a lot of space in a microcontroller which could be used for other functionality. To address this as well, the chip manufacturers resorted to pulse width modulation. PWM signals are not real analog signals if necessary. They consist of a pulse with varying duration, and the duration of the pulse is proportional to the analog voltage desired. In Forduino, this duration is set by its 8-bit argument ranging from 0 to 255, producing 0 to 5 volts respectively. Forduino has an onboard LED connected to digital pin 13, which can produce PWM output, and we can make use of it for this project. However, for the convenience of the demonstration, we will use an external LED. In addition to the Forduino, we will need a breadboard, an LED, resistor in the range of 220 ohms to 1 kilo ohm and some jumper wires. To build the project, we will first plug in the LED onto the breadboard. We will connect the cathode of the LED to ground in series with the resistor. The anode of the LED will be connected to the digital pin 13. And now we are complete with the circuit. You can find the complete code for this project at our website. Click on the Forduino project to open in Workshop 4 IDE. Every time you open a new editor on basic graphics, the skeleton code contains the relevant code required for the communication between the Atmel processor and the Picasso GPU which is driving the touch display. And we can start typing the essential code from here. In the setup function, as discussed earlier, we are using digital pin 13 to control the LED. Here, we are enabling the touch functionality. Then we will place a slider on the display initially with the intensity at zero. All you need to do to incorporate the code for the slider is to navigate to widgets and drag and drop the slider widget. You can customize the slider using the object inspector. After you are done, simply click this button to add the code for the slider you have created into your Arduino program. And we also will print the intensity on the display. In the loop function, first we will check if there is an input of pressed or moved is being detected by the display. If so, after making sure it is actually from the slider, we will change the slider position to correspond to the touch input. Then we will adjust the brightness of the LED and print the current intensity on the display. Now connect your Forduino to the PC. Make sure you are connected to the right COM port. In my case, it's COM port 3. And simply click on COM and load. This will compile and load the code into your Forduino. And now you will see the touch slider on your Forduino display. As you can see, the LED brightness can now be controlled using the touch slider. There you have it. Controlling the brightness of an LED using the 4D Vino touch slider is as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in more projects with 4D Vino, please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.